His name shall be Emmanuel. His name shall be Counselor. His name shall be the Prince of Peace. And his name shall be Jesus. And the Old Testament prophets prophesied that there would be a little baby born in a manger in the little town of Bethlehem. And it happened just like they said. So tonight, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you that when the touch of God touch your life, praise God, it unifies you. And the next thing I want to bring out tonight, glory be to God, when the touch of God, hallelujah, when the touch of God comes upon your life, praise the Lord, hallelujah, you become conquerors. Romans eight thirty seven simply says tonight, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Well, folks, I want to tell you, here is a nugget, another nugget of the word tonight I want you to take with you. And and that is, you ready for this here in Romans eight thirty seven and 38 says, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And the reason they put that verse in, uh, in Christ Jesus our Lord is because the simple reason is that Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary and he died for our every sin. And that verse is saying right there, there is nothing. I am persuaded. You cannot change my mind tonight. I am persuaded beyond a doubt. I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor things impending, or threatening, nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation would be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. See, I want to tell you something tonight. The touch of God makes us conquerors, praise God. Many Christians give up too easily. They throw up their hands and quit when they are persecuted, rebuked, or when they fail to get their own way. I, w- I heard a little a, a clip about a lawyer that, that was studying to be a lawyer, and anyway, he had went, and he had failed the bar exam two times, and a preacher got to talking to him, and he says, well, how are you doing with the, the, the lawyer stuff? And he said, I'm done with that. He said, it was not in God's plan for me. I took the bar exam twice. I failed that thing twice, and I'm done with it. And see, we have a tendency to throw Throw up both hands when we when they fail and don't get their own way. And the preacher looked at him and says, son, don't quit. Don't give up. The next time could be a charm. Several months had passed by and the preacher had saw this young man that was studying to be a lawyer. He went back. He took the bar exam and the third time was a charm. Folks, let me tell you something tonight. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. When don't be one to give up too easily. Don't throw up both hands and quit when you're persecuted, when you rebuke, or when you fail, or when you fail to get your own way. The touch of God tonight gives us courage to conquer. Christ, glory be to God, furnish us the strength which enable us to keep on, keep it on. Praise God tonight. I'm feeling this presence. And Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Jesus Christ, which strengthened me. I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Praise God. See, the touch of God tonight makes us conquerors. Glory be to God and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm on talking to someone tonight. Don't be easy to quit. Don't have negative thoughts that, well, I'm done. It wasn't meant to be. Now, let me tell you something, folks. 
Many Christians, I want to say this, many Christians give up too easily. They stump their spiritual toe. Well, I backslid. I might as well quit. No, that's when you need to begin. Praise God. See, no matter how much we stumble, no matter how much we fall, the touch of God gives us courage to conquer. Christ furnishes us the strength which enables us to keep on keeping on. And see, when the touch of Christ comes along and the touch of God comes along tonight, he also, in, in Matthew chapter 8, 3, said, he heals. Did you hear what I said? And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him. Let me tell you something. There was a uh, a blind man and a leprosy, rather. He had leprosy in Matthew chapter 8, 3. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And he reached out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing. I be cleansed by being cured. And instantly his leprosy was cured, praise God, and was cleansed. See, the touch of God tonight, listen to me tonight, folks, the touch of God, hallelujah, brings healing. Hallelujah. Many have experienced divine healing because they have not experience divine healing because of a lack of faith. We cannot expect to please God or receive blessings for him without faith. You remember what I said a while ago about Hebrews uh, 11, uh, James 1, 6, and 7, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavered. And him without faith, praise God, there's no way you can please God. Hebrews 11, 6. I want you to think about that tonight. See, when the touch of God touches our lives, glory be to God tonight. I want you to know one thing. The touch of God, not uh, it brings physical, it brings mental, and it brings spiritual healing. And our nation today, we are facing some of these very, very things right now. And that is, we are suffering physically. We have COVID-19. We are suffering mentally because of shutdowns and all this. And we are suffering spiritually because we can't understand. We're questioning God, but the touch of, but the touch of God the nugget I want you to get tonight out of this, the touch of God brings the physical, it brings the mental, it brings the spiritual healing. And here we go. We receive God's touch through reading his word, praying, believing, accepting, and obeying the word of God. Did you get that, what I'm saying here tonight? Did you get all that right there, folks? Did you get all that? That is a nugget of the word that I want you to get tonight. And that is the touch of God brings physical, mental, and spiritual healing. How do we receive that? I heard, had a person to tell me one time, said, Preacher, what well, God never talks to me. I've heard you say many a time about that God was speaking to you and, and all this. And he said, I've been saved for many, many years, but God has never spoke to me. And I looked at him and I said, undoubtedly, you have not read the word of God. See, we receive God's touch through reading his word, through praying to him, through believing and through accepting and obeying his word. Matthew chapter 9 verse 29 says, he says, he touched he their eyes, saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. You see where the healing came from? See, a while ago in Hebrews eleven six, it says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Who are you seeking tonight? See, but without that faith, it is impossible to please and be satisfactory to him. For whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he is the reward of those who earnestly and diligently seek him out. Praise God. So the touch of God tonight, you listen to the, see the touch of God. One of the most powerful nuggets that I could give you tonight is reading God's word. You might say, preacher, 
I don't understand God's Word. Let me tell you something, folks. There's parts in that Bible that you can understand. If you, I'm going to give you a nugget tonight. If you're a young Christian and you just got saved and you're just starting out, the best place I can tell you, don't jump in the book of Revelation. Don't start off there. Start in the book of John. That's where you would want to start. Saturate the book of John. See, in John chapter 3, the most famous verse in the entire word is this right here. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever will believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. See, God, the 17th verse, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Boy, do you see tonight, if I could ever give you anything tonight, I'm giving it to you. And we call this podcast a nugget of the word because I want to get just that one little golden nugget out of something that I might say tonight that will help you to have a better tomorrow. When you listen to this podcast, that would help you to have positive, not negative. It will help you to get that little nugget to get you through the day, that little nugget that will push you on when you feel like throwing up both hands and quitting. And that is what uh, God laid it on me to call my podcast, The Nugget of the Word. So giving you another little nugget of the Word tonight, and that is read the Word of God. How do you want to say, I want to be repetitive if you are repetitive if you are a young Christian. Go to the book of John. Start at John 1, 1. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. And continue throughout that book. And then I would say the next one I would suggest you to start reading would be the book of Romans. You master those two and see... And don't let negativity get you down. You think positive. And when you read his word, pray and seek God. When you open that book up, open the word up and say, God, I need your Holy Spirit now to give me what I need to know out of this word. Now, when you pray, you need to start believing that God is going to do exactly that. And by accepting it and obeying the word of God, I want to ask you tonight. Hallelujah. And this nugget of the, of the Word podcast, I want to ask you, when is the last time you experienced the touch of God? I want to tell you something tonight. God wants to touch you. God wants to reach out. He wants to touch you tonight like never before. And see, I want to give you a quick recap. When the touch of God touches you, you are transformed, you are ordained, you are unified, you are conquerors, and the Word of God can heal and set you free. When? I want to ask you once again, when is the last time you experienced the touch of God? Because I want to tell you something, God wants to touch you tonight. Will you let him? You know, we have another thing. If you were write us on Monday night at 7 o'clock, Nat Nathaniel, Nat Brown on Facebook, we have a Facebook live program called Prayer Changes Things. Would you look us up on Facebook? Because what we do, we have got a prayer journal. And before I leave this podcast tonight, if you have a prayer request, Write us, email us at reverendnat94 at gmail.com and say, Preacher, I want you to pray with me. We have a prayer journal. We have people that praise over this prayer journal over and over again, not one time a day, but several times a day. And tonight, I want to go to God in prayer. I want to pray that you will have a touch of God. And these trying times that we're going through, I want to pray that God will touch you and God will meet you in a special way. Let's go to God in prayer. Have a gracious Heavenly Father. We come to you tonight, God, knowing that you're the great I am, knowing, God, that you're the great physician, knowing tonight, God, that your touch transforms us, that your touch 
ordains us, that your touch unifies us, that your touch conquers us, make us conquerors, and also heals us. It heals our, our body physically. It heals our body mentally and spiritually. And God, I pray for every one of those prayer requests on our prayer journal tonight. In Jesus' name, we ask you to meet them, Lord, in a special way. And if there is one out there tonight that's going to listen to our podcast, I pray that something has been said tonight that will help them, to help them, Lord, to think positive, help them to to keep going forward like never before. God, go with us tonight. Go with each listener tonight. I ask you to bless this podcast, God, wherever it may go. Anoint it. Let it grow, God. And, Lord, let you get the honor. We're not in this, Lord, to get honor ourselves, but, God, we're in this that you may get the glory and you may get the honor and glory for it. And tonight, we ask all these blessings in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen.